Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from computergargar.com. This tutorial will look at looking up data based on multiple conditions within a range. On the sheet supplied, I would like to return the value from column C where the department in column A is training and the region in column B is India. So I have two criteria there. Some of you may be familiar with using things like the VLOOKUP function to look up data. Very quick, very easy function, but limited. What I'm going to do here is use the index and match functions together. Some of you may be familiar with doing that before as well. Uh, it's a very popular alternative to VLOOKUP and better in many ways. What I'm going to use is, is the index and match functions, but within an array formula. I need the array formula because I'm looking at multiple conditions and I need the array to remember both conditions when it evaluates the answer. Array formulas are sometimes known as CSE functions because you press Control, Shift and Enter when running the functions as opposed to just Enter on its own. When you press Control, Shift, Enter, it will place curly braces at the ends of your functions. You do not type these, they appear because of the method of pressing control shift and enter okay let's go straight in and have a look we'll explain as we go i'm going to type the function in cell f3 so i'm already there i have my cell selected i'm going to type equals and then index as you can see the index function returns a value or reference of a cell at the intersection of a row and column if i put my opening bracket it will ask for the arguments first thing it wants to know is an array. Now for the array, I'm going to put C2. Obviously I could select the range if I prefer, but I, I seem to be typing it here for whatever reason that is. It's usually a little bit easier to use your mouse and select it. Um, but that's the range I'm looking for. I want to look down that range or that column. Yes, where index wants the intersection of the row and column, I've kind of supplied the column already. You can see there's an optional argument on the end where I could have used the column. Uh, but in this case, I don't need to. And I'm just going to tell it to look in there. I'm going to put my comma. The index wants to know the row. So it wants to know the intersection of the column row. I say column C. Now I want to tell it what row. I need a different function to tell it the row, though. Because I want the row where the department is training and the region is India. Whatever row that might be. Um, obviously, over time, I might change cells F1 and F2. So I want this to be relative, and it always looks at them two cells, and it will find the appropriate row, depending on the situation. For that, I'll use the match function. So I'll type that in now. It tells me that the match function returns the relative position of an item in an array. So this is just basically going to return the number of the row for the index function to use. If I put my opening bracket, very similar arguments to things like the VLOOKUP function. First thing it wants to know, what are you looking for? Now what I'm going to actually type here is the number 1. Uh, this will make sense when the array function is going, because the answer it will return is 1. It's going to be logical, so it can either be 1 or 0, true or false. So I want to return whatever row came back with answer of 1. That may sound a little bit crazy at this point, but hopefully it makes sense in the moment. Do my comma now wants to know where I'm going to look. Uh, so what are the conditions? Also, I've got a couple of conditions here which I'm going to enclose in brackets. Uh, once again, I seem to be typing my range for whatever reason that is, but I want it to look inside the range in column A there and return true if the answer is equal to what is in cell F1. So looking at range of cells, and if it's got the word training in it uh, then display true by that one or zero so that does it does it not so really that function on its own it's going to return zero one zero 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 one zero zero and so on just marking one where training appears and zero where it doesn't what I'm going to do I'm going to multiply that range by a similar range looking in column B Make sure I get this right. So let's look in column B. It's going to match it against what's in F2. 
So a similar situation here, as it runs down, it's going to be 0000000000111111. You know, marking where India appears and where it doesn't. Now, because these both are being used, it's using the end kind of logic between the two. So it's only going to return a one where both brackets come back with true. So the answer should really come back as row 11. But the answer that this little bit here actually retrieves will be one at that point. So I'm saying match, find a row where the answer comes back as one. Bit of crazy thinking, but you get used to this stuff as you go. I'm just going to put zero to ask for an exact match in that last argument. And I'll close the match function. Also close the index function. And because this is an array formula, I need to do control, shift and enter all together. And that now gives me the answer of 21,300 to where the conditions are. I say the index function finds the answer based on the intersection of a row and column. I told it the column was C, the row came from the match function, which looked down here where it says training, for oh, there's one there, one there, one there. Then it looked down for India, and for oh, there's one there, one there. But the old ranch that came back is as it comes down here, it goes one, zero, looking down, one, zero, as it comes to go one, one. The answer coming back is 1, which is what I was looking for. So it made a note and thought, oh, that's row 11. Yeah. And that was returned to the index function. So index then basically found what was in column C, row 11, which is this. As you can see, it's got curly braces on the end, which indicates a CSE function or an array uh, function. Done by pressing Control shift enter and that's because I had multiple criteria here in brackets. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Obviously you can expand on this, this is two conditions, but it can be as complex as you need. Uh, you get used to writing this kind of stuff, it's extremely powerful, it's great super user stuff. Uh, please check out some of our other tutorials, we've got other great tutorials on our Facebook page for Computer Gaga, on computergaga.com, or on our YouTube channel. Check us out.